audience that I like to think of is our global audience. Um, we've got readers all over the world, a lot of them in America, a lot in Britain, uh, other parts of the world. When you write a piece about American politics, on the whole you don't really have to explain what Congress is, everybody knows what Congress is. Here you write about, for example, the European Commission and actually you need to think, actually maybe my readers in Britain or in India or in South Africa don't have a clue what the European Commission is and maybe I need to explain that. One thing I quite like to do is to be able to identify a trend or a development somewhere in Europe, it doesn't need to be in Brussels. Um, that sheds light on something broader. I arrived here last August and a friend of mine who has a large following on Twitter um, mentioned that I had arrived to take up the Charlemagne post um, and I was watching the follower counts go up by the second, it was completely ridiculous. Um, and it's not only the, the number of people who do this, it's the way that news and rumour and gossip and all this sort of thing circulate so quickly. It would be a more uh, efficient use of everybody's time if some folk were able to think a little bit more carefully about targeting their audience. So I will get um, all sorts of emails about matters that um, are never ever going to be of concern to what, for, uh, for the column that I'm writing. When someone gets in touch with you who has a clear idea of who you are, and what you're covering and what your interests are and what you may uh, like to cover in the future and they have something useful for you, that's absolutely fantastic.